hello everyone welcome back to the map of mathematics in this video we are going to solve this nice algebra problem and here we have 8 to the power of m plus 2 to the power of m is equal to 130 and we will solve this uh, nice exponential equation for the value of for the real value of m so here m must be belongs to r so that we can solve it only real values or we can find its real solutions uh, so the very first thing we are going to do is here you can focus in the right hand in the left hand side and here we have 8 and we can write this 8 as 2 to the power of 3 and whole power m plus 2 to the power of m is equal to 100 and 30 and now uh, we can use here uh, the well known exponent law and you know that if we have a to the power of m to the power of n so it will becomes a to the power of m times n and it is also equals to a to the power of n to the power of m so it means that if we can interchange its exponents then it will gives us uh, the same answer uh, so that uh, in this term we can apply this exponent law and we can just interchange its uh, exponents uh, so that this expression will becomes 2 to the power of m and whole power 3 plus 2 to the power of m is equal to 130 uh, and after that we can uh, we can uh, rewrite this term in simplified form uh, so that we can take here y is equal to 2 to the power of m so that we have y cubed plus y is equal to 130 and now i will take this as equation number one so after that uh, you will focus on the right hand side and in the right hand side we have 130 and now we can find the prime factors of 130 so the prime factors of 130 are 5 times of 2 times of 30 and now we can uh, simplify uh, these prime factors uh, and so that here we have 5 uh, we have 5 times of 2 30s are 26 and here we can write this 26 as 25 plus 1 and now we can again write this 25 as 5 square plus 1 now we can multiply this 5 on both of the expressions and we will get 5 cubed plus 5 so that here we have 130 is equal to 5 cubed plus 5 so now we can replace this 130 by 5 cubed plus 5 so uh, so that we will we will get y cubed plus y is equal to 5 cubed plus 5 okay so after that we can take all the terms in the right hand side to the left hand side so it will becomes y cubed minus 5 cubed plus y minus 5 is equal to 0 so here we just take 5 cubed to the uh, uh, left hand side so it will becomes minus 5 cubed and when we take plus 5 to the left hand side so it will becomes minus 5 is equal to 0 
after that we can apply the well known cubic formula and you know that if we have a cubed minus b cubed so it is equal to a minus b times of a square plus a b plus b square so now we can apply this cubic formula from this term and we will get the uh, remaining terms in this form and here we get y minus 5 times of y square plus 5y plus 5 square plus y minus 5 is equal to 0 and after that uh, we can take common y minus 5 from both of the expressions and we will get y squared plus 5y plus here we have 5 square and it will becomes 25 and y minus 5 will be take common so here we get uh, only plus 1 so that it is equal to 0 and now we can simplify this term and we get y minus 5 times of y squared plus 5y plus 26 is equal to 0. So now here we have two cases. The first case is we can take y minus 5 is equal to 0 and the other case is we can take y squared plus 5y plus 26 is equal to 0 uh, so uh, in, in in this term here we get y is equal to 5 and you remember in the start of the question we can take y is equal to 2 to the power of 5 so so that here we can back substitute the value of y and we will obtain 2 to the power of m is equal to 5 and now in order to find the value of m here we can take log on both of the sides so it will becomes log 2 to the power of m is equal to log 5 and now we can take this power to the uh, to the front of this log and it will becomes m times of log 2 is equal to log 5 and finally here we get the value of m is log 5 over log 2 okay so this is the one root of the given equation and uh, now we can find the other roots from this one uh, and you you can see here this is the uh, quadratic equation uh, and so now first we will check uh, uh, is this quadratic equation gives us an uh, real roots or complex roots so now we can apply uh, the delta here and we we know uh, uh, the delta uh, about the roots of this equation and you know that delta is equal to b squared minus 4ac and the value of a is 1 and b is 5 and c is 26 so now we can substitute all the values of a b and c in this delta and we will get here delta is equal to 5 square minus 4 times of 1 into 26 and 5 square will become 25 and 4 25 uh, is equal to 104 and when we can uh, subtract 25 by 104 so here we obtain minus 79 and minus 79 is less than 0 so we can say that the roots of uh, this uh, uh, equation has complex and so that we will rejected these roots because in this question we need only real roots or real solutions uh, so that 
we have only one solution of the given uh, nice algebra problem so it is m is equal to log 5 over log 2 uh, so this is our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe my channel for more exciting videos bye